Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 31st, 2022. Well, happy Halloween, everyone. Um, it looks like we have um, kind of an interesting day shaping up today. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, after last week's amazing rally to the upside, and I mean amazing rally to the upside, you'll notice here <coughs> in the Dow that we have rallied all the way back up to our downtrend here, our longer term downtrend. And we are dealing with some really significant price resistance in the chart. So as we finish up this last day of October, <clears throat> we are very extended in the short term here on the diamonds. Clearly, we have rallied very, very strongly. Diamonds was leading the way or has led the way and just really extended even into the close on Friday. A very parabolic move to the upside. So <clears throat> this morning, well, we see a little bit of those realities maybe coming back into play in the news cycle with Europe posting 10.7% um, inflation, the highest inflation on record. And we are starting to see um, uh, all the geopolitical things um, really creeping back up. We're seeing bond yields going higher. We're seeing China economic activity slowing down. Um, well, we might have a little bit of a reality check coming into play here, despite all of the hype and energy surrounding earnings. So let's take a look here. If we were to draw some price resistance across up here, you can see that's very significant in here. And we really could push just a little bit higher to um, contact um, an even stronger area of price resistance in the chart. But if we were to find a little bit of bearish activity uh, coming in, and I think that certainly could be the case, maybe not today, but sometime this week, um, we um, could have a little pullback into here. That would be a very light pullback into some price support in the chart. Um, however, I think there is a fairly substantial possibility later on this week, if not today, we have a substantial pullback coming in the market. Now that doesn't break any of the technicals here in the chart. As a matter of fact, something like that would keep us still above our 50 day moving average, but we would have to, uh, well, it would probably be a pretty painful pullback and um, there would be no reason to believe that uh, that could not occur despite all the earnings out there, just simply because we've extended so far to the upside. Now, if we were to take a look at our technicals here a little bit closer, notice we popped through that 200 day moving average. We got a 500 moving average above. Lots of price resistance now in that chart to deal with. And unfortunately, the economic numbers that we're seeing out there are just simply not good, um, despite all the hype uh, around earnings. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY rallied up substantially, but we're a long ways behind the Dow here, which gives me some concern that the Dow may have pushed it a little bit too far and could be kind of painful in a pullback if that were to occur. If you notice here in the SPY, here, let me draw a straighter line. Right in here in the SPY, we have a fairly strong level of price resistance in the chart. Obviously, we're still moving in our downtrend here. And if we were to find some reason for bullishness, well, there is certainly that possibility we could push a little bit higher here in the SPY, as you can see, to reach that resistance. But if we see some selling, some pullback, um, this right in here would look like a logical area where we could pull back to for that first um, test of support. And then keep in mind our short term trend right in here. If we were to break this down through here, then I would look for that pullback 
back into this area to maybe test and that support level in the chart coming into play. Um, can't say that those things are going to occur. I think there's going to be a lot of volatility this week with all these earnings reports. And certainly the hype has been very high, despite the fact that most of these companies are reporting earnings that are less than they were last year. Um, so just be kind of careful here. And um, if we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ also um, struggling a lot more than the other indexes, as you can see. If I were to drop a line across here, you can see we still have significant price resistance in that chart to deal with. And with the big tech um, reports out there kind of disappointing um, the market, well, you could certainly see that situation in here where we can come back and we can test that level of support pretty easily if those bears find reason for inspiration. And then, of course, an attack up in here if the bulls find inspiration. But we still have a lot of work here to do on the NASDAQ. And as you can see, that 50-day moving average still looms above. So uh, get some work and some questions that need to be answered here on the NASDAQ. And then if we look at our Russell, our Russell also remained very, very strong. Um, we will want to take note of the fact that we are approaching that longer term downtrend in the chart. Clearly, we have considerable resistance above in the chart here. And if we can find reason for bullishness, then I would expect maybe a test up into here first. And then we could see if we could push on through to a level up here. If those bears find inspiration, then we would look for a retest of this support area here in the chart. And if that were to fail, then look on lower for that stronger level of price support here in the Russell. Again, technicals in these charts um, have improved a lot, but you'll notice we're getting close to banging our head into that declining 200 day moving average that's well below the 500 day. We've got some questions yet to be answered here. And although we have just blindly rushed into this long trade, I think we may have few more troubles to deal with um, after uh, if you go back and review the economic numbers that we saw last week. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Now our VIX dropped hard. My goodness, it dropped hard. And at the close of Friday, we came very, very close to that 25 handle here in the uh, VIX. And if you'll notice right in here, this is a very big area um, in the chart. So 25 could easily serve as a price support level. Now the good news is if we were to bounce off of this area in here and push back up, we've created some price resistance in the chart. So if we were to bounce back up, I'd look for some price resistance in that area. If we pass through there, we've got price resistance up in there um, that could prevent us from just surging right back through to the top side. So watch that carefully. Um, if those bulls continue to push here, well, breaking down below that 25 would really be something here, considering our economic condition and the, ge the geopolitical issues that we see out there. But certainly doable if they continue to push in this really enthusiastic upside move. And then if we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 gives us a little bit of a different picture uh, here in the chart. Um, as I suggested, we could linger up here for a while, and it's still possible we could continue to linger up here, particularly with all the hype and energy around these earnings reports. But we will have to admit that we've kind of reached a very extended condition here in the short term um, of the market. And so if those bulls find some inspiration today, there really there may not be a whole lot of upside opportunity because there there really aren't any reports today that would provide that big inspiration, one of those real market moving reports today. Um, and if we take a look at the potential downside, if the bears are inspired, well, you can see there's a pretty good opportunity of a pullback occurring at any time here in the market. And probably not a surprise after such a strong upside rally. If we were to take a look at our T2108, 
Now, T21 had an amazing rally last week, pushing up here. And as you can see, we're trying to peek out from underneath that downtrend um, here in the chart. We've got considerable price resistance up here. And we have seen this before where we rallied super, super strong um, here early fall. Um, we rallied up super strong into that area. And then obviously um, we got a little carried away and the pullback was pretty painful. I would watch for a pullback to be a little bit painful if it starts to occur. Um, we could really see a lot of folks running for the exit pretty fast just to protect profits um, if those bears find some inspiration to, to bring on some selling. Um, let's take a look at our T2107. Uh, T2107 also had an extraordinary <clears throat> upside rally here as you can see 36 percent of the stocks above their 200-day moving average we broke this long-term downtrend um, and really surged um, um, on Friday in this move. And as you can see, we're pushing our head into some price resistance levels here in the chart. So once again, we may have just gotten a little bit over exuberant. We may be pushing that resistance a little bit too hard. And if the pullback begins, it could be a little bit painful. I could certainly see a pretty substantial point drop if those bears find that inspiration to move. Our T2101 <clears throat> continuing to surge to the upside, as you can see in that momentum shift where we broke that downtrend. And by the way, I apologize for, apologize for clearing my throat there. Just stupid fall congestion here and allergies. So um, watch, um, watch that carefully in here. One thing I will say is we're pumping up into some bigger price resistance in here. So again, it really wouldn't be a surprise to see a little bit of a momentum shift, a little bit of profit taking that could come into the market at any time. If we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today, now our economic calendar is rather light today, but we do have a couple things we'll want to be paying attention to. But as we move through the rest of this week, that's where things are going to get really interesting as we move through the rest of the week. As you can see here in the um, in the calendar, we've got Chicago PMI coming in this morning. Um, we'll want to watch that closely. Our PMI numbers have not been very good. That Dallas manufacturing number has been a very bearish number. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. It's not exactly a market moving report, however. And then we've got a three month and six month bond auction, which could be of interest today because we've got those bond yields rising back up this morning. And then as we move through the week, as you can see, we've got more PMI data. We've got ISM, construction spending, that job openings report. We're going to really start hitting into the jobs. Um, we've got ADP, that motor vehicle sales report, uh, petroleum staff. At us. And then Wednesday, um, the, the big guy of the week is going to step out here and tell us what they're going to do with um, interest rates. Fed Fund futures continue to suggest a three quarter of a point interest rate increase. Um, so watch that closely. And as we saw um, the, the Eurozone coming out with inflation going higher still, we may still have that problem happening here as well, particularly with our energy prices surging back to the upside. If you were to take a look at um, Thursday, we've got international trading goods, jobless claims, uh, productivity and cost, factory orders, ISM, uh, natural gas, and then we're going to hit that employment number here on Friday, the big government number. So. Uh, we've got a full week of wildness going on here um, in the market. Now, as we take a look at our earnings calendar, by the way, guys, make sure you know where that link is um, just below the title of the video that takes you back to the morning blog because this week we really ramp up in those earnings reports. It's not so bad today, but um, it looks like we've got about 170 on the uh, calendar for tomorrow. We've got over 280 on Wednesday. We're going to be well over 300 on Thursday. So they're going to come at us fast and furious this week. So a lot of data coming our way and there's no way I'll be able to cover um, all of those um, reports in the, in the morning blog. 
So let's take a look at a few of them that could be market moving today. We've got car reporting today. We're going to hear from um, Goodyear Tire. We've got um, on semiconductor that will be reporting today. Uh, PCG is in there. Um, XPO will be in there today. Um, and WMB is on that list today. Um, you know, things like Herbalife and Lake Mason are also um, on that list for today. So quite a few reports that could move us around. Um, not a huge number of notables here today, but um, that's really going to ramp up as we move through the week. So with that, guys, how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, <coughs> if you could please do me that favor, <coughs> excuse me, please do me that favor and click that uh, thumbs up button, leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I wanna just say thank you so much for those of you who do take the time to do that, you guys are truly awesome. I, I do truly, truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful on how you approach some of these trades because of the volatility that we're likely going to experience this week. We're, we're probably going to experience lots of hops and pops with, um, or pops and drops with all of these um, reports and economic data coming our way. Of course, we, we continue to see the issues with China, their slowing economy, and now we've got more COVID issues over there where they shut down uh, Shanghai Disney and, and even lock the people in there until they can prove that they have a negative, um, negative um, test for, um, for the, you know, COVID-19. <clears throat> so it's going to be um, an interesting, interesting situation here um, over there in China. Europe, of course, um, heavy shelling happening over there from Russia. Um, Russia has also removed itself from the grain agreement for shipping. Um, lots of issues creeping up there. And then, of course, the European inflation um, adding some pressure here in the market. So we'll just have to keep a pretty close eye on things. And remember that with all of these earnings, there's going to be a lot of emotion and a lot of volatility. So first off, let's take a look at um, stock. <clears throat> I placed an alert here on AXP on Friday. You'll notice that it popped through that alert. I chose not to buy on Friday just because I thought we were so overextended in the short term and we're pushing right into the downtrend of, of that chart. But keeping in mind that we've seen some pretty good numbers from Visa, um, in here this may have that opportunity to move on up so i'm watching um american express for that opportunity that may break that downtrend i think the possibility of it resting a little bit more <clears throat> is pretty high so watch that close <coughs> I apologize there guys i paused the video um had to cough and see if i could get that throat cleared so as you can see a little bit of of challenge here yet in that chart now here's another um i've been watching and um it popped my alert on friday i was thinking about entering that trade but i decided i was going to wait here just a little while on that um as you can see um crm um, is also trying to work its way up through this downtrend but i like this pattern in here and if you notice we broke above that 50-day moving average that creates what we call a round of bottom breakout pattern possibility and um i i will be keeping a close eye on crm now other things that we're going to have to be watching pretty closely here guys and i hate to bring this up again but we're going to have to keep a close eye on the currency one of the things that helped um, the market a lot last week is the dollar pulling back and that was helping other countries as well 
we'll have to keep an eye on this with these inflation numbers continuing to push up and we know that the Fed is going to raise rates. We just don't know how much. If they stick with the expected of 75 basis point increase, then we can actually see this dollar strengthen again. So watch that closely. One thing you want to pay attention to is we're breaking this trend. And here's the problem with this. If this breaks and we start moving sharply down in the dollar, well, what we're likely going to see is we're likely going to see energy prices surge on higher and if energy continues to surge on higher that increases the likelihood that our inflation rate is going up now notice we're getting a a little back away here on energy here this morning keep an eye on that we there certainly is that possibility that demand destruction could weaken energy here but if the dollar pulls back that is going to push the prices of this energy higher and we have this major problem with diesel right now a shortage coming into play as diesel prices continue to rise and that just makes everything more expensive when we go to the grocery store or anything we pretty much buy sell or do so watch those energy prices now the other thing we're going to have to be keeping an eye on is these commodity type prices of gold silver metals um, FCX had a pretty good rally last week but pulled back toward the end of the week. I would be watching FCX in here if we kind of contact some support and trend for that next opportunity in those trades. We saw US Steel last week <clears throat> move up pretty strongly but then as the dollar weakened really shrink back toward this trend. So watch this support and trend area here. If that dollar were to start weakening again, then you might start seeing some of these steel prices move back to the upside. Now, for some places to start looking for some short trades, I would be really, really careful here, guys, with some of these big techs. Um, taking a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA rallying back substantially, but I want you to point, notice right in here that we're rallying right back into major price resistance levels of the chart. And, and we're are still in a downtrend so some of this hype on big tech um, may start to fall off here and we could easily see some of these setting up as a potential short take a look at AMD now AMD is going to re report here tomorrow I would stay away from that because of that report but there is nothing about that chart right now that says bullish um, just yet and even if we take a look at stocks like Microsoft and the big bounce that we got on Friday there's still nothing bullish about that chart except the hopefulness of maybe a, a double bottom W bottom type formation but there are is massive price resistance above here in this chart so I would watch for the possibility that these could roll back over to the downside so keep a close eye on some of those big techs for some potential short trades. So with that guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to apologize for my congestion here this morning. Um, I hope that wasn't too bothersome. Forgive me. I'll try to do better tomorrow. I want to wish you all the very, very best. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I wish you um, um, safety and security in this market that's likely going to be pretty volatile. Take care everyone. Have a great one.